Hey there, Jensen, Kimberly, Sam, Sarah, Sarah, and Kevin again, maybe? I don't know. I know that's how the last one started, but whatever. Um, so yeah, hey there. Coin is still there. Um, so you know how last, the last, last video, I said that I couldn't show you my room because it was like incredibly messy. Well, so I totally cleaned it, so now I can show you guys it, so yeah. Computer. TV and stuff. It's my bed, I'm on my bed. It's my dog, his name is Otis. He's staring out the window. Um, Facebook. So yeah, that's my room. As Thursday Sarah pointed out, I totally like didn't roll the dice die last week. Last week. Last Wednesday, because yeah, that's when I posted the video. But um that's cause I didn't know. I thought it was just like a sand thing. But Alright, well I have this die. Alright. Whoever whoever I happened to land on has to uh film their next video with their face painted their favorite color. Okay, so two. So K Marie, I look forward to seeing your next video while your face is painted in your favorite color. It'll be a good time. And uh, so the rest of this video will come to you in three parts. First part, part one. Kevin's word, which is pudding. So that's Kevin's word, or my word for Kevin. It was also upside down. Part two is, all right, so I have this, I have a project proposition for us to do, and it's inspired by this show, and it's called The Buried Life, and if you haven't seen it, it's awesome, so I'd recommend that you all see it. Hold on, Otis is barking at someone. I lied, he was just growling at the neighbor. So anyways, Buried Life, it's a show, it's on MTV, it's pretty awesome. Um... So basically my idea is for each of us to say, to come up with something that we want to do before we die, and we'll put it in like a list, and then we'll go out and do it, but this is like totally copying the buried life, because this is what they do, but it's still awesome, so we want to do it. Um, and then everything, I mean like we can, we can just like, it could be anything you want though, it could be like crazy stuff, it could be like, I don't know crazy stuff and we'll just like we'll come up we'll, we'll figure out a way to do it even if it has to be like forever from now like next summer or you know forever from now um yeah we can still do it and it'll be awesome um but then like for each one thing that we accomplish on our list of what will be six or seven things to do will help some random person, because this is what they do, they help some random person do something on, like, some strange off the street, they'll be like, what's one thing you want to do before you die? And they'll tell them, and then we'll be like, all right, we're going to help you out, and then, like, that's what we can do. I don't know, it's totally copying it. As Sam says, that would be copycatting. It would be even more copycatting of the, this channel. would even be more of a copycat. I don't know. Anyways, it would still be awesome. I think we should do it. It would be a good time. Um, part number three is a magic trick because I decided that I'm going to include one in like all my videos now. Okay, so to keep up with the whole three theme that we got going on, because this video is in three parts, if you don't count the first ones because three parts. Alright, so to keep up with that, I'm going to do three things with this magic trick. Alright, um, in order for me to do all three of those things, I'm first going to have to shuffle the deck face up into face down here now you can see my hands all right so shuffling the deck face up into face down i'm trying to make this trick quick because i know this is already a long video um so basically i'm going to cut the deck three times because we're going with three and whatever card i happen to cut to i'm going to look for four of a kind of that card that'll be the first Thing that I'll do with this trick. So one, two, three cuts. So I'm gonna look for all three of the or all four of the kings. Alright, so we'll put these down right here because um yeah, 
leave them right there. Mm. Anyways, um, so I found one king, which is obviously easy. Now I just need to find the other three kings. Oh, there's a king. Awesome. That's two. Maybe it's just a coincidence, though. It'll be harder to find the third king. Alright, so let's see if I can do it. One, two, three. There he is. There's the third king. Now, the hardest king to find is the fourth king. Because, like, he just, I don't know, so don't, don't yell at me if I mess up. But, uh, let's see. One, two, three. Uh-oh, it's a three. Well, what are the odds that it's a three? But, um, I did tell you I was going to accomplish three things with this video. And I don't want to lie to you. I told you I was going to find four of a kind, so watch. There's all four threes. Ta-da! Alright. Uh, my second thing that I'll accomplish, that I'll do with this trick, is I'm going to fix the deck, because like it, like, it was shuffled face up into face down, right? So i got to fix it. I don't want my deck to stay shuffled face up into face down, so watch. Alright, look. I fixed it. Now it's going the right way. All, right, all the cards are face up. And then I also told you, the third thing I'm going to do, I also told you that I was going to find all of the kings. So here they are, the only four, only four cards that are face down in the entire deck. And what are they? Look, they're the kings. All four of the kings. Crazy. All right, awesome. Kevin, I'll see you tomorrow. But more likely, Jensen, see you on Monday.